If your business is not showing up in the local backpack when someone searches for your services, it can often be because you haven't added the correct categories to your Google My Business listing. Out of the many Google My Business ranking factors, the most important factor is setting up and adding the right category. If you've added the wrong category in your business, then not only will your business fail to rank on top, but you also won't get the correct leads. Google has made it very easy to add categories to your Google My Business listing, but only a professional can show you exactly how to set it up. I'm a professional. Mm. This is what I do. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media, and I'm here to help you get more local customers for your service business. So if you don't want to miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Now, according to a recent study, the number one ranking factor in Google My Business profile is the primary category. And the seventh highest ranking factor is additional GMB categories. So it's really important that you list both the primary and the additional category correctly. There are two ways to find categories for your business. The first is using GMB everywhere, and the second is a tool called Plepper. Today, I'll be showing you how to use both. So first, download the GMB everywhere extension, and once you click on it, this is how the tool will look. Now you want to type in your service and the location you're based in. So for this video, we'll put in Plumbers Essex. If you're a roofer in London, then put in Roofers London, or Landscapers in London if you're a landscaper. You get the gist. Now, GMB Everywhere will give you all the plumbing businesses that are listed on Google My Business. On the right hand side, Plepper has given us all the different categories that are used by plumbers in Essex. And on the left hand side, GMB Everywhere will show you all the different categories that plumbing businesses are using to rank. When you click on Find More, it will take you into the GMB account and give you more information. But just from this extension, you can see Essex Maintenance has added Plumber as its primary category, and all the rest are additional categories. Now the categories with a star next to them are the primary categories of all these businesses. So you can go through all of these businesses, which are your competitors, and see which primary categories and additional categories they're putting in. And then you can also start adding those same categories as long as they are applicable to your business. To add a primary category, scroll down to your Google My Business profile and click on edit your business information. Then select business categories. And now from here, you can start adding your primary category. Below that, you can add your additional categories. So let's say for example, you're a drainage contractor. Your primary category should be drainage service and you'd put in plumber and other services as your secondary categories. Now the second way to find the right category is by using Plepper. So make an account and log in. Click on tools in the main navigation bar and select Google My Business Categories full list. Now select your language and select where your location is. We'll select United Kingdom and then click on Fetch Google Business Profile Categories. Now Plepper has generated all of these different categories. So in the search bar, we'll put in the service we provide. For this video, we'll put in plumber. This is our category name, plumber. Now click on related category. Plepper has given us all the different categories related to plumbers, like heating contractor, bathroom remodeler, drainage service, and many more. If we click on drainage service, Plepper will now give us all the additional categories of drainage service. This is a really useful tool to help us find our primary and additional categories. You can use both of these tools to add categories in your Google My Business profile. A word of caution, when adding additional categories to your business listing, it's not wise to add categories solely for the sake of having more. If a category has no relevance to your business, adding it could lead to your business appearing in irrelevant searches, resulting in inquiries that are not related to what you offer. Once done with that, you want to come back to your profiles dashboard in a couple of hours and click on edit services. It will now show you additional categories and below that you have an option of add more services. And if you click on it, Google will give you suggestions. Over here is giving us an option to add telemarketing. Now, of course, if you're a plumber or any other local service-based business, you'll get suggestions related to your business instead. So that is how you set the categories in Google My Business Profile. Use this video as a guide to rank higher on the Google Map Pack. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.